Hi, welcome to lesson 18 in Control Point Curves Part 4. In this lesson, we're going to go ahead and learn how to add and subtract control points. Okay, so you remember we've got our two curves here, which started out identical. This one was rebuilt to have 99 control points. This one still has 8, I believe. Now, a lot of people will ask me, again, because a control point only has or has so much um, influence over some objects, right? Oops. I could, and I'm going to go ahead and go over here and turn my points on for this. Notice what happens if I begin to delete points. I'm, all I'm doing is I'm selecting them and hitting delete, select and delete, select and delete, select and delete, select and delete. And as I begin to delete these curves, right, this control point curve ends up being quite a bit straighter. So watch this. If I end up copying this one, if I just copy this one and select it, turn on its control points, watch what happens if I begin to and am able to delete each and every point here. By deleting all the points, I get a straight line. Now you'll notice you cannot delete the end you cannot delete the first or the second or the first or the last control points because basically you only have contr two control points in a single line. All right. So subtracting control point is quite easy. Now add adding a control point is quite easy. It's not quite as easy as the other one. I'm going to do a, go ahead and do a few control Z's here. Bring back my original curve. All right. Now to insert a control point what you can do is you can go up to edit and then you can go down to control points and notice here you've got an entire range of things that you can do right um, but what I can do right here is I can go to insert control point I can click on it it'll say select a curve or surface for control point insertion and yes surfaces have control points as well I can click that curve I believe I'm on the red layer now that's what's happening here and you can see what I'm doing is I'm dragging along this curve and you'll notice that there's a cursor on the curve which is where I am but you're sh it's showing me up above where the actual control point is going to be so once I click there we go I've added another control point and click again and I can hit enter right so this point right here right here right now is on the curve watch this as I pull it away in one direction or pull it away in the other direction that point moved off that curve right there are several reasons for doing that um, number one you might want to uh, be fairing a curve or trying to make um, a doubly curved thing be a little bit smoother and inserting a control point on a curve is not a bad way to go about doing that okay so Another way to get that is I'm going to go down here to my control point curves. I'm going to drag it out. These are my point edit um, toolbar. And you'll notice right here it says insert a control point. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stop the lesson right now. And in the next lesson, we're going to learn about uh, the wait command. Thank you very much.